You are it guys, what is up Flambo here and welcome to episode 5 of the Premier League Road to Glory where I buy the players that you want in order for you to keep this team or maybe to split it off at the end of the series. Now I went out and brought as I do at the start of every episode one of the players that you told me to buy in the last episode and I wanted a left back um, to complete a full gold back four and I went and brought Gail Cliche, former Arsenal player, um, great pacey fullback, um, it did cost me a little bit more than I'd like to pay but um, it had a decent amount of contracts and yeah he's an alright good defender to be honest with you, it's been excellent for Man City this season, um, he goes straight into my team and I come up against this guy who's got a full 100% chem team, 71 attack, 64 mid and 67. So I was kind of thinking maybe he's got like a bronze team and then a silver striker or something or something like that. Um, but he actually had a full Scottish squad. Now I wouldn't say that's the best set of squad Scottish players, Scottish players that he could have got. Um, he could have had like Darren Fletcher or whatever but... Actually, I think he was building like a Dundee team, if I remember rightly. I didn't really see it. But nonetheless, I break him down on his attack. And I score an absolute scream in there from Ben Arthur. Again, another counter-attacking goal, to be honest with you guys. Pretty decent. And for the second goal, it's, it goes exactly the same way. I break him down. Good build-up play. Nice little drop of the shoulder step over there by David Silva, who sweeps the ball out to Aguero and the keeper kind of messes his kick up there and I'm just going to slot them in all day there's no point messing about to take the 2-0 lead um, yeah and then it, it, it goes goes from bad to worse for me no not really but yeah I then go and concede a sloppy goal um, again someone who's got a decent player in the air is going to beat my two centre backs um, although I've got good centre backs they don't really do anything to be honest with you in the air but it didn't take me long to reply from that straight from kickoff um, a nice build up goal from me um, I pass it out to my winger who's absolutely awful um, but I managed to build it up again Akin Fenwell plays a nice little ball into a Guerrero who manages to just finesse it into the far right corner and I'm heaping praise again on him but he's an absolute beast of Guerrero um, can't say much more than that his finesse shot is one of the best I've seen on the game uh, but I managed to get a corner from this build-up play. He's keeper parries it out. And although I was saying that when my, when my defenders are, are defending in the air, they're absolutely poor. When they're attacking, it seems like Koscielny has had a decent amount of fair. I think he's got three goals for me now, or two goals, and Roger Johnson's got two as well. So they're good at attacking, but when it doesn't seem like they're very good in defending. But this guy gives away a free kick to me. I play it short. Um, David Silva, two little drag drag across or drag backs or whatever you want to call him and he finesses it in with his left foot. And that was the end of the game, guys. 5-1 um, and Aguero gets man of the match. Come out with 935 coins. Um, yeah, I absolutely dominated that guy uh, with possession. He had quite a lot of shots, but you'd have seen there was, there was rangy shots from the middle of nowhere. But then I went on a spending spree. I mean, I was coming against 100% chem teams all the time, so I wanted to bump up my chem. So I went and brought a few players that I've been impressed with this year in the Premier League. Uh, I went and brought Scott Parker, and then I wanted a left winger, and I just searched for a 1,000 or less. And Adam Johnson, he goes for about 2,000. Um, and I managed to get him for 950 with a decent amount of contracts. And then I went and brought a big signing, guys. One of the signings that you lot wanted me to 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 purchase, sorry. And I went and brought a Luka Modric. Cost me quite a lot of coins, 36,000. I went on an absolute bidding war with this guy for him. And that's what my team's looking like now, guys. Pet check, two decent centre backs in Johnson and Cachoni. Um, left back Clichy, right back Sanya. Um, I dropped David Silva for this game because he was getting a bit um, fatigued but my strikers um, yeah um, and even though I made these signings this guy was quite tough he didn't have the best of chemistry but he had some decent players and he could play the game um, he's, he's got an Adam Johnson there on the left wing he's got a De Maria he's got, like a de he's got a very good players to be honest with you another chemistry is a fact if you can play well at FIFA then you're going to do well at the game, to be honest with you, against people. But um, I could have had him there on the counter-attack, but I don't know what, what went wrong with the, that through ball there over the top. But I managed to pick it back up, and Adam Johnson, on his debut, um, managed just to put that right in the top corner, guys. An absolute beast of a finish. 
and that's how it ended, 1-0. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I was playing poorly that game, it was just that he was a good player, and I don't know, he was just very good at defending, but I was all over him, his goalkeeper was a beast, I don't know we had in goals, but he did very well that game. Um, and then, go into this game against this guy, who's got a decent attack, um, decent chemistry, and he, I come up him against him, and he's got a like a hybrid squad. I think it's like a Russian squad actually. A yeah, Russian squad. I thought when I played him he had a hybrid, but seeing it there, it's actually a Russian squad. And this guy um, started well, um, but I managed to break him down again. And on the counter attack, I hit him. Um, Johnson plays a good ball through to Aguero, and quick feet here just slots it in the bottom corner for one nil. And then this guy um, kept pausing the game. I don't know if he was going to the toilet on the phone or whatever, but uh, when he came back, um, great through ball. We've done one of these before, guys. Two passes, and Valencia with his pace, he just chops it back in and finesses it into the far left-hand corner. And Valencia, guys, probably um, the best signing for me of this series. Very cheap player, absolute pace on him, um, and he's just an all-round good player, to be honest with you. But I intercept this guy, a um, couple of balls. I'm in again, kind of attack. And what a finish from Adam Johnson, guys. Um, I signed him late on in the series, and you're going to see um, he could become like, a, like one of the boys for me. He's an absolute beast of a player. I can't tell you how much I'm impressed with this squad that I've got at the minute. Um, apart from the defence, at the minute, I do sign better players. But yeah. This guy manages to play a couple of one-twos. He gets in and scores. But it doesn't take me long to reply. Again, I break down his attack. Go on a nice little run with Luka Modric, who gets a little bit lucky there. And then I feed the ball to Aguero, who cuts back and tries to, like, finesse, shot it over the goalie. Hits the ball, and he follows up with a nice volley. Um, but I kind of got sloppy here, guys. He, he managed to score what doesn't really happen to me a lot. And I do play a lot of FIFA. He scores straight off um, the restart. He managed to get on the wing. A little, little bit of a tramp goal, cutting it back. But to be fair, uh, he's, five, he's four. What was he? He's four one down at the time. And I, I would have done exactly the same, guys. But I reply with my own goal a little bit better than his. Straight from kickoff. Nice little turn. And then a heel to flick, whatever you want to call it in Valencia, Valencia as he does, finishes it. Um, but that's the end of the episode, guys, and I've not really said it about signing the next player, but I'd like you to recommend for me, guys, a centre-back to sign. So, if you can recommend a centre-back for me to sign, that'd be absolute beast. Um, yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye.